Good morning, good morning, not good morning, good afternoon, good afternoon, <laughs> good afternoon, good Thursday afternoon, YouTube, how you guys doing today? So guys, I'm just sitting here reminiscing about everything that happened five or six ago, uh, five or six months ago, when that whole Tasha K, Star Marie, uh, Lovely T uh, debacle happened, and a lot of us bloggers, you know, made video after video, a lot of us made a lot of coin around that whole situation, right? Because there were videos after videos. There was fighting back to, back and forth. People were exposing people, making fake pages on Instagram, uh, making videos about me, calling Tasha K a victim, trying to make Lovely T seem like she was innocent. When the whole time, when the whole time, see, thing, I, like I said, I'm reminiscing. And I don't want to jump the gun. And things are becoming clear to me now. So I want you guys to straight take a stroll down memory lane with me. I know a lot of my subscribers may not even know what I'm talking about. So let me give you a brief breakdown of events, right? Five or six months ago, Star Marie <coughs> made a video uh, calling out Cardi B on the things that Cardi B used to do. When she was, when Cardi B was a stripper, Star Marie was also a stripper and she went, she set out to expose Cardi B for whatever reason. And I don't even remember why she set out to expose Cardi B as to all the things that they used to do when they used to strip together. She said that she used to live uh, in an apartment. She shared an apartment uh, with Cardi B uh, because at one point in time she became homeless uh, and, and Cardi B wanted to help her out because they, they worked in the same strip club uh, with her. As a result of Cardi of, of Star Marie making that initial video, it set off a whole firestorm of events. Okay, Lovely T was the first one to repost Star Marie's video exposing Cardi B for some of her dirty deeds on YouTube. When she po reposted that video, it started off a whole chain of events. The first thing that happened was a blogger by the name of Tasha K. We all know Tasha K. We all know Lovely T. At the time, Lovely T and Tasha K were friends. Lovely Star uh, Tasha K garnered an interview uh, with Star Marie. Now, we all remember, a lot of us remember, it was a whole uh, debacle, a sub-debacle about the Tasha K interview with Star Marie. People were saying Tasha K was reporting fake news. People were saying, uh, uh, you know, Tasha K stole the interview from Mona Simone because Mona Simone entered the scene uh, also along the time of the Star Marie, uh, Tasha K, Lovely T situation, simply because, uh, Mona Simone said she, uh, Star Marie, uh, promised to interview with her first. They actually recorded the interview. Uh, then Mona Simone, uh, said that Tasha K told Star Marie to hold off on the interview and to let her drop her exclusive interview first. Okay. People were vilifying, Ta uh, vilifying Tasha K. At the time, they were vilifying Tasha K. Nobody was seeing, nobody was uh, paying any attention to what Lovely T was doing behind the scenes. Right. Fast forward to uh, Lovely T and Tasha K falling out. Okay, Lovely T and Tasha K were supposedly uh, good friends. I think they had met at a conference or something. They became uh, friends. Everybody knew in this sector that they were friends. OK, and, and then Lovely T, when the whole interview and people started side eyeing Star Marie about the interview that she did with Tasha K, Lovely T decided to fall back. OK, she felt she fell back. But what she did was she threw Tasha K under the bus. Tasha K was real hurt about it. Tasha K later exposed the story as to what went on with her and Lovely T. OK, as a result of that, Lovely T made a video. Uh, she told her side of the story. Uh, she took down that video because she got scared for whatever reason. Tasha K went on to expose more, uh, expose the fact that her and Lovely T uh, plotted and planned the trend to break, quote unquote, break the Internet uh, by using this Star Marie uh, Cardi B situation. Lovely T uh, said that she got up so upset about the situation. She believed that people was putting voodoo on her. She had to go in the hospital for a week because she said people, she believed that people were, or Star Marie or people were putting voodoo on her as a result uh, of this story, uh, as a result of her saying that Star Marie was lying about everything that she said. Okay. But come to find out in retrospect, 
I think uh, that Lovely T was so upset because she had she knew that she had thrown her friend under a bus all because she wanted to get close to Cardi B. We now know, we now know after the event that uh, Lovely T went on to get somewhat, form some kind of, of, of situationship, I won't say friendship, colleagueship with Lovely T. She has uh, Cardi B, Lovely T has Cardi B's personal number. Uh, Lovely T, uh, you know, she's gotten some uh, exclusive off, exclusives off of Cardi B as a result of Lovely T throwing her friend Tasha K under the bus. People want to make like it was all Tasha K's fault, but things have come out and we now know that it wasn't Tasha K's fault. Lovely T threw Tasha K under the bus. She was so upset. I mean, I think she was so, her blood pressure or whatever was high because she was doing the girl wrong. People said Tasha K was lying. You know, I, I, don't th- I, don't, I don't think that Tasha K was lying about what happened with her and Lovely T. Lovely T even said uh, that her and Tasha K did have a plan to, uh, you know, release videos one after the other uh, about the Star Marie situation. Okay. But Lovely T, what I'm thinking is Lovely T decided to, instead of uh, going on, you know, uh, you know, just making videos about what Star Marie was saying about Cardi B, she decided to uh, throw her friend under the bus and get close to Cardi B. And the way she got close to Cardi B is she started uh, getting in Cardi B's ear, telling her things about Tasha K. Because we know around that time, Cardi B kept going off on Instagram, arguing back and forth with Tasha K. Now, why Cardi B will continue to argue with a small, uh, uh, you know, compared to a lot of other entertainment vloggers like Jeffree Star that has 20, 30 million followers and stuff like that. Why Star Marie will argue with Tasha K that doesn't have even a million followers is still even to this day beyond me. And so now it's gotten so far to the point to where people, uh, it, it, they say the stories are true, that Star, that Cardi B uh, is going to sue uh, uh, Tasha K and Star Marie. People are saying that uh, Star Marie said that she was going to counter sue. Uh, uh, you know, Tasha K says she's still waiting to get served. You know, all of this and all of that is as a result of Lovely T, the chaos demon that I said she was, and things are coming full circle. Everybody tried to turn a, a couple of bloggers, smaller bloggers. One blogger in particular made a, a, a troll page. It's uh, I am Star Marie, hater, I am hater Star Marie, made a troll page, Linus of Judah, and bragged about that troll page, about making that troll page on Instagram, uh, trying to, I guess, expose Star Marie. For a whole lot of things, I think that Star Marie was lying about some things. I don't think she was lying about everything. Just let me say. In the light of the video that got dropped about Cardi B admitting to drugging men in a hotel room. Okay? Because I remember a story uh, that Cardi B... Uh, I'm, a story that Star, uh, Star Marie was telling about Cardi B concerning her and uh, uh, concerning Star Marie, Cardi B, and another guy in the hotel room. Now, I can't remember all the details about that, but she did tell that story, and everybody said that Star Marie was lying about that story. But I believe the story was true as a result of Cardi B's own words admitting on camera to drugging and robbing men. Okay, when she was a stripper, Star Marie was a stripper at the same time. Okay, see, a lot of this stuff, like I said, is coming full circle. So anyway, like I said, after Lovely T threw Tasha K under the bus, she then proceeded to get close to Cardi B. And she then proceeded to say that everything uh, that, um, that, um, that Star Marie was saying was a lie. And she made a video breaking down the supposed lies that Star Marie had told on Cardi B. I do think that Star Marie did tell some lies on Cardi B, but I think that she told some truth also. But everybody wanted to say that Tasha K, everything Tasha K said about Star Marie uh, and Cardi B was a lie. That is not true. Okay? That is not true. Also, as far as Lovely T getting close uh, to Cardi B, all of this stuff has come out. Why hasn't Lovely T made a video about Cardi B wanting to sue Star Marie and Tasha K, but she has been throwing subliminal shots uh, in people's comment sections on YouTube, on Twitter, and on Instagram? 
But whereas the video uh, that Lovely T was supposed to have made, just like everybody, a lot of people have been making about uh, Cardi B wanting to sue Tasha K. I don't see one video about that. Do you guys see a video? These are her latest videos. I don't see one video of her saying anything about that at all. That's why I say things are coming full circle. And also, uh, Tasha K has been talking about the fact that Lovely T, uh, uh, when she dropped that story about Wendy Williams, how she how she used uh, Tasha K's information and gave a lot of people credit for it, but didn't give Tasha K any credit for it at all. Okay, because Tasha K was the first one to, to to bring out the information about the baby and it being the baby girl. Uh, Tasha K on the video, she actually called the hospital. So anyway, Lovely T regurgitated that whole story, gave a lot of people like B Smith, love B Smith, a uh, uh, credit for it for for talking about this situation, but didn't say anything about Tasha K. So Tasha K, this was in Tasha K's community post. You guys can go check it out. Okay, also. Uh, she's uh, Tasha K. While I'm on that subject, uh, she said she exposed the fact that people were lying on her when they said that her channel uh, had been snatched. When they said that she couldn't go live on her online Tasha K channel uh, because it had been struck down uh, because of whatever situation. I can't even remember that situation. Right. So she proved to everybody that that was a lie because when your channel gets struck, you can't go live for three months. Tasha, has go Tasha K has gone live several times within the three months, right? And it, this, is the, this is the photo of her showing her going live within that three-month interval. And she basically said that, you know, in her first trimester, she was real sick like a lot of women are. And people jumped, jumped ran with that and said that her, her channel was struck. And her channel was not struck, and this is the proof. Okay, you guys can go watch that uh, as well. Also, uh, the reason why I don't understand that I'm trying to move along, y'all. It's just so much, right? The reason why I believe uh, that Cardi B shouldn't be trying to waste her time suing Tasha K and Star Marie is because Cardi B, a video was released on me at, at, at you know in Meat Magazine on their page of Car of Star Marie. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry of Cardi B admitting to drugging and robbing men when she was a stripper, right? So, and like I said, I remember that story that Star Marie told about Cardi B and her being in a hotel room, uh, you know, with men that they met from the strip club. Like I said, I can't remember the details, but Star Marie did tell a story. So if Star Marie is Star. I don't think she's lying about that now. Everybody thought she was lying, but Cardi B is actually telling on herself. And I don't understand why she's trying to sue Tasha K, you know, when you're supposed to not be worried. But Tasha K is not the only one, honey, coming out to, with these stories about you, Cardi B. You coming out with the stories yourself, okay? You coming out with these stories all by yourself. You're exposing yourself, all right? That's what you're doing. And you're trying to make everybody feel sorry for you as well. Let's listen to what Cardi B said she did, she did for money. Uh, when she was uh, a stripper. Let me try to play this. I don't know if it's a play, but I'll try. So you heard it out of her own mouth. She that's what she, you know. She admits to drugging uh, and using sex. Uh, she using sex to drug men and rob them for their money. Okay. There has been a story. A guy that came forward and said that he was married at the time, but Cardi B did this to him. And if he can prove that she actually did that to him, he said he never said anything before because he was married and he didn't want his wife to find out that he was uh, trying to sleep with strippers. Uh, you know, you know, trying to pay to sleep with strippers, right? So if he can prove his story, he can sue Cardi B. And people are also wondering, like Chrissy. I, I listened to a video from Chrissy. This is a very good video. I'm going to actually put the link to Chrissy's video when she's talking about uh, the title of her video is with sympathy and payola, get Cardi B out of this, out of this one. Hashtag 
Surviving Cardi B. Hashtag me too. It's a real good video. And she broke down a lot of important facts about the Cardi B situation and how people or uh, some people are caping for Cardi B when she's admitted to drugging men and robbing them when she was a stripper. Right. So I'm going to put the link to that video. Uh, in the description box so that you guys could take a listen to that video if you want to. Chrissy is also a blogger on YouTube. Some of you may know, some of you may not know, but she's also a blogger on YouTube. She uh, may, mostly deals with the issues of colorism, right? And she's asking a lot of good questions in this video, okay? Especially as to why a lot of black women are caping uh, for Cardi B, and, and, and Chrissy says, quote, after calling black women roaches, hijacking your culture through music with Bruno Mars, because you know, Cardi B is supposed to be a black female rapper, but she doesn't consider herself to be black, right? Uh, uh, you know, your culture through music with Bruno Mars, uh, speaking ill of your dead babies, she's canceled now because she drugged and robbed black men. Okay, after I, after she said all of that, now y'all want to cancel her after all of this thing came out, which is the reason why I said I don't understand why she's trying to sue uh, Tasha K. Okay, so yet again, she's focused on this one particular black woman. So what is that saying about Cardi B? When all she need to do is hush, because really she's telling on herself. Okay. And you want to stew Star Marie, because I'm thinking that Star Marie, a whole lot of what she said about you was the truth. And that's why you want to sue Star Marie. After all this time, after the stories died down, you still being petty, and you Cardi B now, and you still thinking about a Tasha K or a Star Marie? You won Grammy Awards. Now you still worried about Tasha K and Star Marie because you ratchet. Okay? Just because you take the girl out of the strip club don't mean you can take the strip club out of the girl. Okay, for future reference. Anyway, I digress. So like I said, I'm going to put Chris's video in the comment section below. And I basically want to explain these few things to y'all. Because I made a video in October. Uh, this is how it's coming full circle. About Lovely T being the author of all this confusion on YouTube. Okay? Like I said, I thought of the people that were coming after me, like Linus or Judah or Sweet Ma, I thought they was trying to make me troll food because people had started side-eyeing them about making all those videos about Tasha K. No, I now think that they started coming at me because either Lovely T told them to come at me because I made that video about her being a head chaos demon and Tasha K said that I was the closest one that got the story right. And she wanted me to hush about that. And she wanted to sidetrack me because I had to deal with Linus and Judah and Sweet Mind, and Nicole Tyler and Brittany Chanel. Who else was coming for me at that point in time? It was just simply a diversionary tactic. Okay, that's all it was. She needed me to stop calling her out as being the author of all this confusion and not Tasha K. Because she is the one that set it off by throwing Tasha K under the bus all in order to get close to Cardi B. And she got close to Cardi B a little bit, but was it worth it? Was it worth all of this? And I've seen even last week, I believe, Linus and Judah and a whole lot of people in, in Lovely T's camp while you was trying to say I was being paid by Tasha K. I wasn't paid a dime. I don't even see how y'all come up with that conclusion because I was make, doing unbiased reporting. But you guys were doing biased reporting because y'all all sniffing up under Lovely T's teacup. Okay. But you want to make it seem like I'm doing unbiased reporting and I'm Team Tasha K and I'm being paid by Tasha K. You saying all of this in order to hush me up because I was figuring out that Lovely T started this whole thing. You did all of that. You went Lovely T. You went to those lengths to shut me up because I was on to what was really going on. So let me play this video. This is a video that I made back in October about... Uh, uh, concerning Lovely T and what I think happened. I'm going to play a snippet of it. If you want to see uh, the whole video, I'll try to post a link later, or you can go to my channel, scroll down five months, and look at all those videos I, mer I made concerning this situation. Okay, so let me try to play this for you guys. Hold on. Conspiracy theory. My conspiracy theory uh, is around the whole Star Marie, Tasha K, Lovely T, even Mona Simone situation. I want to talk about what really happened. You know, what, what I think allegedly really happened 
between this whole situation. Because I think the author, the author of confusion in this whole situation was not Tasha Kay, and it was not Star Marie, or, uh, and it was not Mona Simone. I think the author of this confusion, of this chaos, was a uh, struggle YouTuber herself, Lovely T. She let all, she got all this stuff started. Okay, because her and Star Marie have been on YouTube longer than any of us. Okay, there are still YouTube videos of a Star Marie channel uh, uh, in YouTube land. You know, and I'm going to show you the uh, uh, screenshot of one of them today. Star Marie has been on uh, YouTube uh, probably just as long as um, as Miss Struggle YouTube and Lovely T has been on YouTube. And I got to thinking, huh? And we know Lovely T's channel has been hemorrhaging for a while because there, there, you know, things are changing in YouTube land. Things are changing in a whole lot of ways. And, and uh, these are bigger names. Anyway, that's what I said way back in October. And like I said, I'm so glad that things are starting to con come full circle. This is the name of that video of mine that I made five months ago back in October about this whole situation. I said she was the author of Confusion then. I said now she was the chaos demon in this whole situation. And the reason why she got sick is because she was doing so much dirt. Okay? Like I said, I said it then. I said it now. And what makes it come full circle in my mind is the fact that it's gotten to the point to where Petty... Real, real petty and real silly and real messy and real ghetto. Miss Cardi B wants to sue Tasha K, a small blogger, and where and where and where she's become this world renowned rap entertainer. Now she's not a rapper. Don't get it twisted. There's a difference between a rapper, real fast, and a rap entertainer. A rap entertainer is Cardi B. Is what she does. She doesn't write her own music. Do you see what I'm saying? She goes on stage and she acts like she's a rapper. You know, like I can act like I'm a doctor if I'm playing on Grey's Anatomy or something. She acts like she she's she's a rap performer. She's not a rapper. Nicki Minaj is a rapper. She writes her own music. Okay, there's a difference. But anyway, I digress. That's pretty much uh, all I want to say about this. Thank you guys if you're still listening to me uh, reminisce on this whole situation. I just found it really fascinating uh, that Miss Cardi B. Uh, you know, is wanting sympathy, uh, because big bad, uh, that big black, big black, big black bad pregnant woman Tasha K is picking on her when the whole time you're making videos, uh, that is saying that you was robbing people, uh, drugging and robbing people in hotel rooms when you was a stripper. If you don't give anybody any uh, content about you, there can be no content made about you. But instead, you continue to run your mouth. You are your own worst enemy, Cardi B. And a lot of and and, and people are now saying a lot of people on Twitter, uh, via the, the the surviving Cardi B hashtag, a lot of people are saying that Cardi B is now canceled because of all the ratchet stuff that she's been doing for so long, and she's telling y'all how she feel, but people is still giving her passes because she Cardi B. Do you see what I'm saying? She's still in your culture, but you're still giving her passes. That's what a lot of people are saying. Uh, you know, this is me just coming full circle with my story as it pertains to this whole debacle. Because this whole thing, um, th this whole entertainment sector has been really in a downward spiral ever since this story came out about this Star Marie chick. Do you see what I'm saying? Our sector took a turn from its worst uh, behind this whole story that Lovely T broke in the first place. And that is why, at the end of the day, I call Lovely T the author of confusion. But Lovely T, if you're listening, and I know you are because I'm going to put your name in the video, the reason why I'm doing this video, another reason why I'm doing it, is because I want to ask you, Lovely T, where is your video about Cardi B suing Tasha K? Where is your video about Cardi B saying she drugged uh, uh, drugged men that she met uh, at the strip club, drug them, you know, in a hotel room and robbed them of their money? Where is your video about that? We still waiting on that video, Lovely T, because we know Cardi B is your girl, and that's probably the reason why you're being uh, silent on this. But if you're supposed to be an unbiased blogger, entertainment blogger, Where's your video about this? We gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. 
I ain't going to hold my breath, though. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's all I got. Like, share, and subscribe. Let this get, let's get this conversation started in the comment section below. And until next time, bye-bye. Peace.